born with a particular amount of energy, which is a lot of energy. But we're each born with, a, with, a, with our energetic bundle, we can say. And it's our energetic bundle. It doesn't mean we can't add to it, because there's a lot of other sources of energy, but it's our life force. It's our life force. And so what we're doing is we're gathering, we're literally gathering our life force and bringing it back into the present so we have access to it. And the more we have our life force present, the more we're able to access other types of energy, like sky, like earth, like being in relationship to other people in ways that are really clean. What's also associated with the, our energy is it's not just our energy hanging out. There's also our energy attached to the story and the agreement. So our energy that's been invested in the story of I'm not lovable. And so anytime that you that gets triggered, you lose energy. Anytime it gets triggered here, it, it triggers all the other places where you've ever felt that. And energy gets lost down that whole line. So there's that interesting combo. So either you're going to be able to go and pull your energy back, and it's done. It, like you said, you pull it back, the hole gets closed, it's done. Or you pull it back and the story is really compelling still, and so it, exactly, it, it'll leak back out again. Because the story is too strong. And that's then, you just you keep working it. You keep working it, you keep working it. It just takes longer with some of the bigger stories, because they have more energy invested over more period, longer periods of time. Yeah. So When you say you keep working it, you just keep working to release the negative energy? and bringing back the positive? Yeah, you keep doing your recapitulation practice. So it's just like doing a meditation practice over time where you expand it and grow. Recapitulation, and I'll, I'll walk us through the recapitulation process really systematically. But the, the recapitulation practice isn't something you do once and you're done. It's that, that there'll be areas where you'll recapitulate and you'll never think about it again because you got it, because it was simple. And there'll be other areas where you'll be recapitulating them for, for years because there's so much energy invested over time in a particular story or a particular structure of where you invested energy, or so many places where you took on someone else's energy over and over again that you think is yours. Mm. And so that's separating out, and, and the body's then willingness to release the energy that you're holding that's not yours. Because then it goes, oh, now I trust you. You're bringing in the energy that I need. Okay, I don't have to hold on to this any longer. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I'm very visual. Let's see. Yeah. You can take something that wasn't energetic, doesn't mean it's bad, good, or indifferent. But something will happen here and now that can pop that into an explosion of color, or if you think of mm -hmm. this as viscosity, mm -hmm. or something, uh, the bubbles in a lava bowl. Yeah. That you have. And either they fade and they don't get sparked anymore, or they get sparked. It's like skin that sloughs it off. Yeah. Sometimes it can just dissipate. Yeah, totally. That's good. If you're saying if we're born with just enough energy, but I think we can, more new energy can come into Absolutely. this as well. Absolutely. Always, always, always. It's not finite. It's not finite. And we're given a packet of energy, just like we're given a physical body. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that we can't in, um, call in more energy. There's lots of sources of energy. And if you don't have your life force and you're calling energy in, it won't stay. It'll come in and then it'll go out. It'll come in and it'll go out because there isn't this, the strong enough foundation to hold. So, and another way to say it, so we can look at, we can flip it and do glass half full rather than glass half empty, which is to look at it as the more of my personal energy and personal power that I call back, the more I'm able to connect with bigger energies and hold and sustain those bigger energies. So that's probably a better way to say it. The more I have.
have my personal power, my personal energy intact, the more I've called back, the more energies I'm going to be able to access and connect to. And, and the more your container grows, too, I right. guess, because yeah. by example, it seems like you can hold a lot of energy, and your container, by, mm -hmm. by comparison, real large kind yeah. of thing. Um, so you can fill and, and access and fill it with, with more. Yeah. So it's made like that spirit that you were talking about in that diagram, where how big does that encompass your body, you know, how, how big, right. right? In that yeah. diagram you showed us. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's quite a big thing. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah. And that's just like every day living things, we notice more. We notice that we can either manifest or become present quicker, or yes. mm -hmm. that's that cup filling up that yeah. you're talking yeah. I mean, yeah. she's, her cup runneth over, right, I'm sure, right. compared to us, but it's, right. well, and it's just knowing. It's knowing and practicing and everything else. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 While I'm thinking of this question, so if my recapitulation practice, you, know, you do this sort of inventory, and there's a dozen things, and I'll, and I'll pick this one. And just keep going back to that one, that one, that one, that yeah. one. And I feel it's you know making progress, but I, but I feel like I'm neglecting a lot of other things too. Just keep at it. And, just keep yeah, at it. Yeah. yeah. And every once in a while, you can go, oh, let's look at something else as yeah. well. But yeah, some things just take that repetition yeah. of going back over and over and over again, and it's rewiring. You're rewiring your being. There's been a long pathway of the energy going there and going yeah. there and going there and yeah. making, and so retraining yourself to not go down that pathway right. or to clean it up so that there isn't any energy to go towards. Right. Yeah, that's big. Yeah. And they've seen this now that the, all, with all the neuroscience that's coming out around the pathways of the, um, the way our brain talks to itself and the, the bridges that are created of thought. They're really seeing that if, if you've created a pathway the neurons link stronger and stronger and stronger. They create more and more and more and more bridges over time. And it just takes a while to undo those bridges. And you start building a new bridge, it's like, no, I didn't connect those. So that one just gets fed as this one dissolves. Some of them take longer than others. So and the music creates new neural pathways. Yay! <laughs> what was that thing? Music, music creates, creates new neural pathways. Okay, so let's take a break and we'll come back and play with the practice with each other.